All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechak Wadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone who do rule and teach well. And I want to give a peace and salutations to all you Akim out there pushing this truth across the four winds so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. All right, it's the brother Yorah, Lord willing, coming back to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to feed the body and edify the sheep in all sincerity, doctrine, and truth. All right. So really quickly, um, I don't know if brothers have heard about the um, um, the uh, Justice League, um, pretty much the Justice League movie part two. Uh, it's called the Snyder. The um, As you can see on the screen, it says uh, the Snyder cut. All right. And uh, pretty much, you know, I haven't seen the actual movie. Uh, not yet, you know, but um you know, you know how you, you know, th these uh, phones pick up, you know, wh whatever you're talking about. You know, me and the brother was actually mentioning, you know, watching the movie. Um, and, you know, I scroll down my um, YouTube timeline and all of a sudden, you know, it has this on the screen, you know. So, I, you know, I watched the little video here uh, where they kind of go into, um, you know, the ending of the movie and explain the ending or whatever, but they start, they show certain scenes within the movie. And, um, you know, one scene here, um, I forgot the guy's character, but it's before he turned into, I think, cyborg. And, um, as you can see on the screen, matter of fact, let me, so lock you, let me pull it up. All right. As you can see on the screen here, man, you know, you know, he's, he got his hands up and, you know, he's pretty much stopping all of these missiles, man, you know, and let I me mean, look at all of these missiles, man. This is in the movie, you know, this is, this is in the movie. Look at all of these missiles and all of these missiles look different. Like they're coming from different nations. Okay. All right. Look at the missiles. All right. And they're about to hit. All right. Notice this guy, you know, he has, he has the, uh, the uh, jacket on because I think he was on a football team or something. And, you know, it says Gotham City football team or something like that. Gotham City University, you know, um, this is in America, you know, even though it's fictional or whatever like that. But it's based off, in, you know, here in America, you see, and look at all of these missiles, man. And uh, you already know what I thought about, you know, brothers, brothers should already know what, you know, came to mind and came to my spirit, you know. And I just saw this probably like three minutes ago, you know. So I, you know, I don't know if brothers have seen the movie, you know, but yo, that's incredible, man. You know, so um, I just want to get some scriptures because this is actually going to happen, man. All right, World War Three is coming, man. Okay, it's prophesied it in the scriptures. All right, the Lord said it. All right, as we're gonna read, the Lord said it. You know, and, and, and hey, it's gonna happen. You know. I might, you know, go back into this and make a part two and go more in depth. But just for right now, you know, really quickly, you know, I just want to get some, a couple of precepts and Lord willing, this is edifying to the body and it feeds the sheep. All right. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei All right. World War Three is going to happen. OK. You see, and Esau knows it, man. And that's why they put it in the movies. OK. Here's a movie that, you know, everybody's anticipating to watch pretty much, you know. And why would they put that scene in a movie? It wasn't in the first cut. It wasn't. In, it wasn't in the first Justice League movie, you know. So why did they put it in this movie, man? You know, why why are they putting, you know, nukes hitting America, you know, in the uh, music videos, in the movies, in the you know television sitcoms, you know, uh, uh, you know, all, all of that, man. You know, why are they, why are they doing that? Because they know it's gonna happen, man. All right, you see, because it, it's written, okay. And this is going to be this is going to be the judgment for Babylon, the great man, a.k.a. America. You see, Babylon, the great, the great whore of Babylon, man, all right, is America. OK. All right. And America has a lot of blood on its hands, man. OK. That the heavenly father, Yahweh, all right, through his son, Yahweh Shai, and through those ICBM intercontinental intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. Are going to you know wreak havoc on this place, man. All right, two hundred million missiles, man. All right, two hundred million, man. When you when you look at that picture, that looks like two hundred million missiles, man. All right, being shot from all different nations, man. Coming where? 
right here, you know, hit in this place, all right, America, you see, so Salakia, I uh, won't be, mean to be long-winded, but this is the book of Joel, chapter 3, and verse 2, and it reads, all right, this is the Heavenly Father, okay, speaking, all right, uh, it says, I will also gather all nations, you see that, all nations, the Lord is going to gather all nations, all right, and I will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, all right, you want to that word Jehoshaphat, it's Yahweh Shapat, okay? Yahweh is the Heavenly Father, all right? Shapat is judgment, all right? Or wrath or anger, you see? So the Lord's gonna, you know, you know, gather all of these nations, all right? You see? Over in the Middle East, you know, or, or you know, what they call the Middle East, all right? Which is gonna be the Valley of Jehoshaphat, man, the, 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 the land of the Lord's judgment, all right? The Lord's gonna do what when he gather those nations? It says, and I will plead with them there it's like i will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage israel whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land all right the lord says he's going to plead with them there all right once they get there he's going to plead with them let's go into that word plead okay it's shapat okay you see like jehoshaphat now all right it says shapat all right it means to judge govern dictate right? it's like vindicate all right, punish. All right, you see, <laughs> the Lord, the Lord is gonna judge the nations, man. All right, you see, including two thirds, man. Two thirds, you know, uh, 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 most of the men. All right, as it is, as it is written, you know, because the women are gonna be here, you know, because it's um, uh, uh, um, it's prophesied in the scriptures, man, that the uh, women are gonna mourn. All right, because you know, having 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 no husbands, man, you know, and and, and one of the main reasons, you know. In the, in, in the times that we're coming into, one of the main reasons why, you know, two third women are going to mourn having no having no husbands and having no men all right, is because most of them are either going to be dead, you know, from all the, uh, you know, maybe the famine, maybe the plagues, you know, maybe martial law, you know, you see Esau coming down with that great wrath, you know, or either, you know, uh, uh, um, um, they're going to be sent off. To uh, World War Three, man, to fight in the world, to, to 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 fight to fight in the land of Jehoshaphat, man. All right, Yahweh Shapat. All right, you see. And um, going back into that, it says, um, "Whom whom they have scattered among the nations, right? Because we were departed and uh, you know and sold as slaves into all the nations, which we are still in all the nations today. Okay, we are still on in all the nations today. All right." As it is written, man, that uh, uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai or is, is going to come and, and is going to gather us, you know, will gather the elect from all nations. OK, you see. So as of right now, we're still in all nations, man. All right. It says um, and parted my land. All right. The land of Israel. OK, you see, because those those uh, gutter rats are over there, man. You know, the gutter rats, the Ishmaelites, you know, the Amicalites, you know. You see, and all these other nations, man, you know, America, you know, Babylon, you see, continue reading. It says, Joel, chapter three, verse nine. All right. Pro proclaim ye this this among the Gentiles. All right. The natural Gentiles. OK, not the Gentiles, not not the Israelites that were living in a Gentile state of mind. All right. Not knowing that they were Israelites and keeping the customs of other, uh, 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 you know, natural G Gentiles. OK. You see, it's th this is talking about the natural Gentiles, all right? All the other the, the, the uh, other 17 nations, man, all right, outside of the nation of Israel. All right, it says, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men, all right, and let the men of, of war draw near. Let them come up, all right? Is not the other nations getting ready for war, man? Okay? Is not the other nations getting ready for war, man? Absolutely, man. All right. You got you, you got, uh, you know, Russia, you know, which uh, pretty much hasn't been, uh, you know, you know, in their in their, you know, tough years, you know, as far as strength, you know, their military and, and, and you know, things like that, you know, since the uh, USSR, you know. And guess what, man? Putin, you know, Vladimir Putin, man, he, he, he he's pretty much turned them back, man, you know, because scriptures talk about the Lord putting the hook in, into the jaws, the the, uh, the uh, jaws of uh you know a a a a Magog man, all right that's Russia man, all right when you do your research you know, you see, uh, uh you got you got Iran you know standing up you know uh, uh China, 
uh, uh, north and, and south korea you know and etc cetera, etc cetera. why because most mostly because they all have one thing in common they all have nuclear warheads man all right you see revelation 9 and 12 all right and it reads one woe had is passed all right and behold there come two woes more hereafter okay all right and that's talking about war okay all right war okay world war one has already passed all right and two and two more world wars are coming after all right you see it says uh, revelation 11 and 14 the second war is passed so the second world war which we know through history that that world war ii actually happened already you see but world war three hasn't happened yet okay it says the second woe is passed and behold the third woe the third woe cometh quickly man all right and it's coming quickly man look world war three can pop off at any time now man you know all right at any time man you know the the, the man look the heat is is a uh, rising you know the beef and animosity between these nations you know uh, 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 um you have you have um nations clicking up to go against the whore which is america all right babylon the great you see even even our friends of this nation are actually turning against this nation man and clicking up with the foes man all right this is beautiful man this is prophecy though okay all right you see so hey, hey, hey you know World War Three is coming, you know, that's pretty much the the message. I don't, I, I don't want to stretch it out too much, you know. Lord willing, this is edifying to the body and the fed the sheep through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shimei Shai. All right. Shalom and a Baba Ball.